Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to create an external style sheet. So far we have looked at style sheets that are internal or they're within style tags in a document's head section. And one of the limitations with this is that these styles are limited to only being applied to this particular page and not any other page. So we have a fairly large website that's going to have a lot of different pages. Right, right off the bat we have gallery and pricing and specials and blog. So if we wanted all of these pages plus any other pages that will get added to the site to have the same style and formatting, that means that we would have to copy these style tags and paste them in on every other page on our website. And that's okay for a small site, but when it starts getting larger, you can have much more control over it by using an external style sheet. And we could have one single external style sheet that can control all or most of the formatting within your entire website. And so then that way, if you decide you want to change something, like you want to change the margins on your pages, or the background color, or the color of the heading tags, things of that nature, we can change that in one place, rather than going back in and opening up every single one of the HTML files and changing the style within that page. So what we're going to do is create an external style sheet so that when we create all of the other pages in our website, we'll be able to link to that CSS file and use those styles in our page. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is copy everything that's between the opening and closing style tags in my index page. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to create a new text file. So from whatever editor that you're using, you can create a new text document. And we're just going to paste in the code that we copied. So when we create an external style sheet, it's a text file. It does not have the style tags in it. So the style tags are only within an HTML file. Our style sheet is going to be a separate text file. So this contains all the styles that was in the index page and now I'm going to save this in the same location as the rest of my files. And I'm going to call it mystyles.css. So you want to use the extension CSS for cascading style sheets. And I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to switch back to my HTML file, to my index page. So now that I've safely copied this into an external style sheet, I'm going to delete the style tag and everything else in between the opening and closing style tags here. Now when I do that, and if I save this and I refresh my page over here, you'll see that all the style information is gone. But what we want to do now is link out to the style sheet that we just created. And to do that, in the head section, we're going to put in a link tag and tell it, first of all, the relationship between this link and this page. So we say REL, which is short for relationship, equals, and we're going to say it's a style sheet. And then we give it an href, hyperlink reference value which is the name of our style sheet. So I called it mystyles.css. Okay, now I saved my HTML file and it's linking out to uh, the style sheet that we just created. So if I come back over here and I refresh, then it recognizes the styles because we've linked out to it and it uses it. So now any other pages in my website that I want to use that style for, all I have to do is to include the link tag in the head section to be able to get to that. Now we have another page that's being created called Meet Devon, and if I go there you can see that it has some styles that were left over 
from the original setup that we did. It doesn't have the navigation menu on here. So what we would like to do is to add our navigation menu and our logo and our link tag to the Meet Devon page. So I'm going to copy everything from the link tag down to the end of the navigation section because I'm going to copy that into the Meet Devon page. So next I'm going to open up in my editor the Meet Devon.html page. So now here you can see I'm on the Meet Devon page and I'm going to revise the title a little bit so that we can always be sure of where we are. I'm just going to say Meet Devon and I'm going to delete from the style tag, the opening style tag, down through the opening body tag. And I'm going to replace it with the code that I just copied from the other page. So we have our link out to the style sheet. We still have, we did copy the opening body tag. Here's the image tag for the logo. And here is our navigation section. So let me save this. And now I'm going to refresh this in the browser. Okay, so now we have our logo and navigation section, and then we have the content that we had when we started out with our Meet Devon page. So as I start to create other pages in the site, then I would either create a new document and copy and paste this in, or since I already have a lot of content begun in this for like the Meet Devon page, and I want really the same thing on all of my other pages, the only thing that's going to change is just some of the content that's in here, then I would duplicate and make a copy of my Meet Devon page. So for example, I'm going to make, if I make the pricing page right now, I can go to my menu and I can go to File, Save As, save this as pricing.html and click Save. So what I'll do is I'll just change this quickly. I'll say pricing and instead of meet Devon, let's say pricing. So if I have this saved and now I come back over here, I can go to pricing and we can see that we made it to the pricing page. And if I click gallery, this takes me back to my gallery page where we haven't set up the images on here yet. And then if I click meet Devon, we're back to the meet Devon page. So what I'm going to do is duplicate my pages so that I have a specials and a blog and a reviews and a contact page so that when I'm finished, I'll have an HTML page for each of the pages in this site. And all I'm going to do, just like I did for pricing, I'm just going to change the heading one tag at the top and the title bar so that I know that when I'm going from page to page, that the navigation is working. Okay, so I went through and made copies. I did a save as, and on my other pages I changed the title and the H1 tag so that now if I go through from page to page, you can see here and on the title that my navigation is going to the right pages. So that is setting up an external style sheet that will contain all of our styles. And as we said, the advantage of that is if we decided to change something, we can go in one place and it will update on all the pages. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to open up the My Styles CSS file. And let's just make a change here. Instead of white for visited, let's change it to black. And instead of the background color for this green, let's just change it to all C's. So with that changed, let me minimize this. I'll refresh my page. You can see here, now we have a nice gray and black navigation area. And all of the other pages that I go to, it's all been changed on because it's all feeding from this same CSS file.